How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Krieg build. I know we've had a lot of those recently, but uh, I've received some requests in the past to do the Javelin Krieg build. And while I feel like most people already know about it, I still figured I'd cover it for um, a lot of the newer players or players who might have just missed it. Or um, a lot of people are just now getting into Krieg, so hopefully they will learn about this. So this is going to be the Javelin Krieg build, which is super fun and super powerful. Good against pretty much everything but bosses. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, gear wise, this is actually one of the easiest Krieg builds that you can get. So for gear, all that you need is here and below. Okay, these two, my Herald and my Slaga are literally just in case I get down and I for some reason am not able to get a second wind with my TD or launcher, which should it shouldn't happen, but it occasionally does. So don't worry about these two doesn't matter. Could be literally whatever you want in that slot. So this whole build is going to be based around TDR rocket launchers. It doesn't matter if it's an E-Tech, it could be a blue, it could be a green, it could be a purple. Any sort of TDR rocket launcher it will work with. It's just that E-Techs give the most damage. So essentially how this works. When you TDR reload a rocket launcher, for some reason it doesn't consume any ammo whatsoever. So unlike a normal gun, like if you had a gunner ring and you threw reloaded it, like five times in a row, you're going to run out of ammo, right? Well, with a TDR launcher, it doesn't consume any ammo whatsoever when you reload, but it still gets the bonus damage from TDR reloads. So what we're going to do on this build is we're going to make the magazine size so ridiculously high that the damage from the throw will one shot almost anything. And especially with slag will one shot almost anything. And then blood explosion will take the rest and just kill everything within the vicinity. Another thing to mention about TDR rockets is no matter what the element is, the actual explosion is explosive. So you don't have to worry about getting a slag one or a shock one or whatever. If you wanted to get a slag one just so you can slag easier, it would probably be ideal, but it's not required. Additionally, since we want the highest magazine size possible, you really should go for a mag prefix and a matching grip. I don't have either of those. I farm all my own gear, but also I thought about farming for a perfect one, but I thought most of you guys aren't actually going to do that. And I want you guys to know that on all these builds I make, you don't have to be perfect in order to make it work. You really can use whatever you can come by. So this is a very imperfect TDR rocket launcher, and it's not even slag. It's it's shock, which again, doesn't really matter that much, but slag would be better. This is the main piece of gear. This is really the gist of like what you need right here. It's the only gun you need. You can go farm one from the uh, writhing deep Hataraxes arena from the rocket launcher chest. It's super, super easy and pretty quick. Then moving on for shield, just use the Rough Rider. It's the Krieg shield. No matter when, whenever you're playing Krieg, just run the Rough Rider, honestly. It's always a safe bet. It just keeps you alive. It'll boost our max health and that along with the legendary Psycho will get so much max health that we should be pretty invincible for the most part. But then for grenade, you just want some sort of a slag bouncing Betty whether that's the actual Bouncing Bonnie, a Crossfire, or just a random Bouncing Betty that you found at level 15 or whatever. Doesn't matter, just something to slag and to build up some Bloodlust stacks. For Relic, uh, you do have a few options. I recommend a Blood of the Ancients with Launcher Max Ammo. You shouldn't be using much ammo in the first place, but this will make sure that you never run out. Sometimes your magazine will get so large that you actually need this in order to be able to reload, because you could end up getting a mag size of like 28, and if your rocket launcher capacity isn't at 28 or higher, you literally won't be able to reload. Definitely recommend a Blood of the Ancients. You could alternatively use an explosive relic if you really wanted and it would do more damage, but I wouldn't necessarily go with that. And plus the Blood of the Ancients max health will work perfect with the Rough Rider and with Feed the Meat. And moving on to Feed the Meat, we're actually boosting it with the Legendary Psycho class mod. This whole thing is all about mag size. So in reality, you only are going to want to use either a Legendary Psycho class mod or the Tiny Tina Com, the Barbarian, with the mag size uh, attachments on them, essentially. Because in the Tiny Tina DLC, you know, you can get crit or fire rate, accuracy, mag size, whatever. You want mag size on it. And then the Legendary Psycho is going to give you mag size, both from the actual stat here, which this, this can go a lot higher. It's just that mine, again, is an imperfect one. It's just one that I found at level 54. But... This will give you 28% mag size or higher, probably higher in your case. And it'll max out blood filled guns, which will make it even crazier. So yeah, that's literally all the gear right here. It's all super easy to get. Go to the writhing deep for this. 
go to the bulwark for this. This is just from a vendor. Legendary Psycho can drop from pretty much anywhere and then just go kill some loot midgets. Pretty easy. And then we'll get into the actual skill tree. And here, I'll respec for you real quick. All right, so moving into the skill tree, my skill is pretty much a mix of Sudden Death Mode and Jolt's Dudes versions of this build. And it's sort of a concoction of the two. There are things that I liked about Jolt's and things I liked about Sudden Death Modes. So we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna max out Feed the Meat for more health. And again, that you're doubling your max health on top of having a Blood of the Ancients for 50%. And then also having the Rough Rider, which gives you a ridiculous amount. So you're going to be very, very tanky with this. Then we'll go into Embrace the Pain. This this right here is kind of just like, it's whatever. Um, you don't need Embrace the Pain. It doesn't really do that much. You could go Empty the Rage if you wanted, and that could actually be smarter in a lot of ways. But I'll go Embrace the Pain anyway. And then we're going to put one point into Thrill of the Kill. Because you're going to do so much damage that any kill you get will return you to full HP even with the giant HP bonuses. Then we're going to max out Strip the Flesh because this is all about explosives. So max Strip the Flesh. And then I put a point into Redeem the Soul. You don't have to. It'll make your fight for your life longer, which with this build, you do actually get down pretty often, but it's not often that you're actually in danger. You just end up blowing up a lot, but then you get right back up. And then here, Bloodfilled Guns. This is the entirety of your build right here, like this one skill is where it all comes from. Having the 500% magazine size is ridiculous. And then we're also going to get Blood Twitch just for weapon swap speed. It doesn't really matter that much. The thing is, Bloody Revival won't do literally anything for this build. Taste of Blood literally won't do anything for this build. And Blood Overdrive literally won't do anything for this build. So Blood Twitch is the only one that actually provides something. And then moving on, Bloodbath, obviously you get it on every Krieg build. You'll always have Bloodbath rocked from killing them with the Javelins. Javelins, quote-unquote, the TDR launchers. But I'm not actually 100% sure whether or not it applies to the damage of the Javelin throws. I think it does, but I'm not sure, so someone will tell you in the comments. So now, moving on, we have a few options. So you can either get Blood Trance, not going to be useful at all for this build. Buzzaxe Bombardier, not going to be useful at all for this build. And then you've got Fuel the Blood or Boiling Blood. And most people will think, well, let's do Boiling Blood so then I can keep my Bloodlust stacks up. But the problem is what happens with Javelin Krieg and that you will experience if you spec into Boiling Blood is that you'll hit 100 stacks of Bloodlust and then they'll never decay because you'll just have them up all the time and uh, Boiling Blood maxed out will make it so they take forever to decay. Well, when you're at 100 stacks, your magazine isn't increasing anymore, so you're not able to reload. Because the reason that you're able to reload isn't from shooting then reloading. It's that your magazine increases. So all of a sudden, your rocket launcher with a 3 mag now has a 4 mag. So the game's like, okay, well now I can reload. And then you'll reload. Now you're at, you know, whatever, 5 max magazine. And then you get more bloodlust stacks, which will trigger blood-filled guns. You get more and more stacks. All of a sudden, oh, now I have a 7 mag size. So now... You're at five out of seven, you can reload, so on and so forth. Sorry if I made that more confusing than it is. But the moral of the story is, specking in a Boiling Blood will keep you at 100 stacks longer, and you don't want that. Uh, something that Sudden Death Mode did on his build long ago was put one point into it, which I actually really like. Um, it gives you just enough time to where you're never going to be out, because you do want Bloodless stacks. It improves how powerful Bloodbath is and how powerful Blood Explosion is. And I guess Blood Twitch actually too. But it won't keep you at 100. So I spec one into that and then just drop four into Feel the Blood. It's really the only thing here at all that's useful. Um, and it's not even that useful. If you're able to get a melee kill somehow, it will make this Javelin build significantly more powerful too because then you're getting even more grenade damage and stuff but super uncommon it's mostly just to get us down the tree and then nervous blood we 100 percent want this because all the build is just reloading essentially then go blood explosion because again we're going to throw the javelin it's going to do so much damage that blood explosion is just going to explode and kill everyone in the room hopefully and there we go there's bloodlust and mania honestly we have everything for the build right here but we're going to go over into hellborn anyway because uh, there are bonuses here that we can get this as i always say these two are really up to you i'm going to do four points into burn baby burn and one into fuel the fire which with the psycho class mod is actually going to be nine and six but we do want ourselves to be on fire. And one thing that I learned from Gas Mask, actually, he commented on my newest video. Go check that one out. 
I'll uh, leave a link to it in the description. But Burn Baby Burn actually has a hidden bonus where it reduces the amount of damage you do with a self-ignite. So the higher your spec into Burn Baby Burn, the less burn damage you'll actually take. So it is worth specking into, but you could go feel the fire if you really hate it. Anyway, and then I max out Numb Nerves because we will hopefully be on fire during this and then we'll have damage reduction. And between that and the Rough Rider, we should be pretty darn tanky. And then moving on, Elemental Elation. I've gone over this the past few builds, but essentially just as you do Elemental Status Effect, you'll gain Fire Rate and Mag Size. The Fire Rate is useless for this build, but the Mag Size is very good for this build. We want the Mag Size. Then Delusional Damage, so then uh, if we slag an enemy, it can set us on fire. If we corrode an enemy, it'll set us on fire or whatever. Then we want to go into Fire Fiend, where while we're on fire, we gain bonus weapon accuracy, doesn't really matter, and reload speed, which is the big thing, because again, this build is all about reloading. So between this and Nervous Blood, you get 150% uh, plus 35% to your reload so really really ridiculous reload and then elemental empathy might as well it's more healing you might as well get it but it's not really going to do too much and then we'll go ahead and get raving retribution which this will make elemental empathy do something because you'll be throwing those out normally elemental empathy is very good but on this build it's like it's not the most powerful for this build specifically but it's still good and now you've got five points left over put them literally wherever you want if you want to go fully overkill with thrill to kill Perfect, go for it. If you want to max out Empty the Rage, so then you can proc Feel the Blood more consistently, go for it. If you want to go Salt the Wound, go for it. The only one I would really contemplate, though, the main two, are either putting, well, I guess the main three, would be either max out these skills up here, or you could put five points into Pain is Power, because you don't need crits on this build, so you're just getting bonus weapon damage. And I assume it works with TDR throws. Not 100% sure, but I... I would think and then uh alternatively you could go flame flare just to increase the burn duration and the chance to reignite yourself after a burn and i go ahead and do that just so i'm on fire all the time and there you go that is the build sorry if i kind of rushed over that if you want more in-depth analysis of all of these skills you can go watch my other two guides on krieg or my other three guides i guess but yeah and then again the gear is literally just this and we can already get into the gameplay so I'm going to be running into the enemies, and then I'm going to start by throwing my slag crossfires, which will get me some bloodlust stacks. As my bloodlust stacks go up, my magazine size will increase from blood-filled guns, and you'll see in the bottom right, I can all of a sudden reload. There's empty space in my magazine, essentially. And as soon as that happens, just press R or X or square, whatever you're playing, and just start throwing things at enemies. And that's pretty much how it's going to go. You just keep getting more and more bloodlust stacks and keep reloading. Oh, and before I get into this, I will actually share a tip with you for Javelin Krieg. So if I'm missing ammo, let's say I'm down to having 38 left, which puts me at 41 out of 45. If you have an absorb shield, or in my case, I have a sham, you can actually go into Buzzax Rampage and throw your Buzzaxes at the floor. And you'll notice on my shield, I'm actually absorbing the Buzzaxes as rockets for some reason. So you can always get your rockets back that way, or you could use a Logan's gun or whatever you want to do. We will go ahead and get right into this. I will mention that this isn't modded. There's no community pass. There's no Borderlands fix or anything like that. So everything you see here is 100% legit. So again, we start just by slagging stuff up. You see my mag in the bottom right and reload and one shot. Reload and sometimes they don't get one shot. So you build up more stacks, reload again. Oh, there I killed myself. And this is a time where sometimes it's like, okay, well, I'll shoot a bullet, reload, and got him. Throw it. Again, same exact thing. Build up bloodlust stacks, reload, things die. Now, my worry here is that my bloodlust stacks are actually getting pretty close to 100. And once they're at 100, there's not much you can do. You kind of just have to wait because now I can't reload. Alternatively, I could shoot and then reload, which works just fine. Often, I will just swap to a Herald, and then I wait for my stacks to go down just a little bit. All right, so now I've got about 60 Bloodlust stacks. One shot that guy.
and there we go and again you can see now that i'm at 100 bloodless stacks well now i'm decaying but uh, my mag can't go any higher than it was there after we clear out the bloodshot stronghold we'll actually go to hero's pass and i'll show you that because hero's pass is a lot harder of an area but uh javelin creek is still able to just absolutely destroy it so Come on, Bloodlust Stacks. I'll actually shoot and manually reload this time. Oh, that was very bad of me. Okay, so that was entirely my fault. You do need to be careful of accidentally downing yourself because the explosion is quite powerful. I always tend to down myself. I think it's just me having Krieg brain. I can't help but get myself killed. But you saw how powerful it was up until the point when I killed myself. But that's the fun of playing Krieg, honestly. It's the fact that you're simultaneously overpowered and significantly underpowered at the same time. So I'm going to regen some rockets and then we'll swap over to Heroes Pass and I'll show you how that goes. So I will catch you in one second. All right, so in here we're actually going to see probably the biggest downside to Javelinier Krieg or Javelin Krieg, and that's elevation. So as someone's up above, you're not able to throw it at the floor near their feet like you normally would. And you really have to rely on actually hitting them, which can be very, very difficult. So again, you want to run over, start throwing some crossfires. You could also use homing crossfires too to ensure that you actually hit the enemies with them. And then we just start reloading. You just always want to make sure everything's slagged. And as long as everything's slagged, everything should die. Something I actually forgot to mention is part of why we spec into Bloodbath is for the secondary passive of Bloodbath. So everyone knows Bloodbath gives bonus gun damage on an explosive kill or a grenade kill, but it also gives the bonus where there's a 75% chance that if they're killed with a grenade, they'll drop a grenade. So that's how we keep our crossfires up the whole time. I'm sure most of you probably knew that, but just in case you didn't. Also, it's very important that you constantly have crossfires being thrown. So it's not a one and done sort of thing. You definitely want to have at least, you know, two or three per engagement, especially because that way, even if you get down, your mag size can keep increasing. And there you go. Everyone got blood splitted. EXP loader just jumped right in my face. See, sometimes enemies will go up on top of objects. This is one of the worst places, in my opinion, where they do it. And it can be very hard to hit them with the javelin. But it looks like we cleared it out just fine. Throw that to get my mag size back up. Theoretically, there should never be a time where you actually run out of grenades. Luckily. See, right there, I killed both of them and got two grenades back. Constructors are not your friend at all. Alright, finally we got him down. Ooh, sniped him. And I'll be honest with you guys. Whenever I'm playing Krieg, the chances of me actually killing a Constructor are pretty low. I just skip them. I'll be totally real. Now, if you wanted, you could actually not spec into Raving Retribution, because it will be giving you more Bloodlust stacks, because it throws out fire everywhere. But you'd be losing out on setting yourself on fire really easily and uh, stacking Elemental Elation really quick. But it would keep you from hitting max Bloodlust stacks, so... And at any point that you want during this build, because we are getting grenade kills, assuming I actually hit the enemies, we are getting grenade kills, uh, Bloodbath is permanently proc. So if you want at any point, you can swap to your normal gun and kill everything. But where's the fun in that? Uh, 
All right, and I assume you get the gist of that. It's all pretty simple, and it's a pretty easy build to pull off. Um, very, very easy to get loot-wise, at least once you have some farms unlocked. And yeah, very powerful build, very good build. If you enjoyed this build, be sure to leave me a like, and be sure to subscribe. And leave down in the comments what you guys want to see next, because I'm always open to new ideas, and would love to hear what you guys want. So, without further ado, peace out. Again, thank you all very much for watching, and tune in next time.